Hello, my starlings. That's right, starlings. Because I finally found the perfect name for all of my wonderful fans. <coughs> now, the reason why I picked that name was because stars and dreams are a big part of my themes. And you're all my darlings. Therefore, you're my starlings. You see what I did there? Anyways, today we're going to be checking out Meet Canyon's Mr. Beast cartoons. And the first one is called I Saved a Human Life Challenge. In light of everything that's been going on, my darlings, <laughs> this is going to be very, very interesting. Let's see if it still holds up today, all right? Because this is indeed a three-year-old cartoon. Let's just dive right in. Today, I just bought uh, my most uh, uh, look at the dab. Replacement heart. Uh, oh my God! Is that Mr. Beast? It sick? sure is. Sick as heck. Good, Good lord! Look at the size of Chandler's head. Heart to save your life? He's big braining it, my darling. Tesla. T Tesla? I would literally kill myself for a Tesla. Good boy. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Now, oh no! You have to search these hundred coolers filled with <sighs> human hearts uh, to find the Tesla key. Man, I wish that's a lot I of hearts. Ill. Your boy be driving a Ford Explorer. Chandler. But, I mean, I don't know if this guy should be doing this. He looks really sick, Jimmy. Uh oh. Uh oh! Oh my God, Carl! Oh. Looking to play some Among Us with my boy. He just nope. birthed the Feel whole new freaking Carl. What seems to be going on here? Oh my God, it's Mr. Oh Beast. no. Oh, I've been a fan since one million subs. Oh man, this is awesome. That was a long time ago, oh, wasn't it? Here, here's five thousand dollars, and we just planted two thousand trees outside of Liberty, Missouri, in your name. Thanks for being a fan. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Uh, it I hurts because it's true. I got the Tesla key. He got the Tesla key. On your new car. Now, unfortunately, you won't be able to get a new heart, and you're still on Aww. track to die in about two weeks. Oh. Uh, At least he got a Tesla. Worry. We will be planting two thousand trees outside of Liberty, Missouri, in your and two thousand trees. We will be planting one thousand trees for every million views this video gets. And one thousand so trees. Share, like and comment. And Times infinity. So we can keep this brave man's legacy alive. Yes, keep it alive. Well, I have a, a donor coming out of state to bring me a new heart in a few days. So Yay! I think I should recover. Okay. You're gonna be okay. Bruh. What? Carl! Oh! What the heck is happening here? Today, I just bought this entire hospital. Oh! He pulled a heckin' Joker! He pulled a, he pulled a Heath Ledger heckin' Joker! He blew up the bloody hospital! Alright, my darlings, let's break this down piece by piece, okay? All right, so that apparently is Chris, you know, but before Chris was Ava, you know, because because Chris was Ava. C can I say that without getting canceled? I don't know anymore. The point of the matter is, is that the person depicted behind Mr. Beast is Chris. C can we all agree on that? It's supposed to be Chris. Okay, okay, okay. <sighs> and on his shirt, he, uh-oh, on his shirt, uh-oh, um, it says Charity but, um, if you turn that into an acronym, um, uh, <laughs> moving on. And then we have Mr. Beast, my darlings, and look how freaking derpy the Mr. Beast, like, symbol on his shirt is. I love it. I absolutely love it. I need, like, 10 million, like, buttons or bumper stickers or shirts with that on it. Because, come on, my darlings. It looks better derped, okay? Meat Canyon can either take things and make them look super creepy or super derpy. And here we are. And then we have the sick guy in his sick bed. You know what, my darlings? I'm just saying Mr. Beast challenges are, you know, he's running out of the tame challenges. I could imagine that he would go this extreme eventually. Uh, the whole Tesla key and the heart challenge. But he would give him a new heart too, wouldn't he? Right? And as for Chandler, Mr. Big Brain over here, his shirt says, it's silly when I lose. You know what? You know what? I, I do wonder if there's a conspiracy there, my darlings. 
Nobody is that bad at every single challenge that they partake in. But I remember. I remember it was such good TV, my darlings. Well, internet TV. When Chandler actually won his first challenge. I remember tearing up and being like, Chandler, I always knew you had it in you. I always believed in you, Chandler. Good boy. So I'm just saying, uh, genius. If it was all orchestrated and Chandler lost all those other challenges to become the underdog, genius. But I still had my suspicions and doubts. Mm. And next we have Carl. Let me just move over a little bit. His shirt says, I hate my life, but tragically misspelled. <laughs> the writer in me recoils, my darlings. But oh my god, look how derpy he looks. That is the most derpy derp mug I've ever seen in my entire life. Totally here for it. And this just became new nightmare fuel for me, my starlings. He's absorbing his life essence. He's shriveling him up and then birthing a new freaking coral. I'm not going to be able to get over this for a while, am I? And oh my god, this scene, my darlings, says it all. Says everything we ever needed to know about Mr. Beast. Or what Meat Canyon sees Mr. Beast as. I mean, look, look. We have Jimmy... And he's leaning over the contestant, the desperate contestant fighting for his life like so many other contestants on his videos are and do. And then you have a doctor. And then he pays the doctor the big bucks and, and many, many trees so he can continue doing what he wanted to do in the first place before the powers that be went to stop him. They say art imitates life, my darlings, and this is so very on the nose. Now here's what I think Meat Canyon is saying with this particular scene, my darlings. He's saying that when this no longer serves Jimmy, he just gets out of there. He doesn't care anymore. That's why he blew up the whole hospital with, with all of these sick people in it because the explosion was good for content, my darlings. Even though the explosion was not good for everybody else around him. So what I truly believe Papa Meat is trying to say in his message, in his art, is that Mr. Beast would burn the entire world to the ground if it benefited him. But that's just a theory! A Mr. Beast theory! Uh, no, we're not doing that. Wrong channel! But I will say, my Starlings, to tune in next time for Meat Canyons, Part 2, Mr. Beast Cartoons. Anyways, my Darlings, what did you think about this video? Put it down in the comments below. I love to hear your thoughts. Well, that's all I've got for you today, my darlings. If you enjoyed the video, please give that like button just a little bit of love. And also, please subscribe if you want to keep me company. And speaking of love, I want to give some love to my wonderful, my fabulous Patreons. Arigato gozaimasu, you're all so wonderful. And I want to give a special shout out to Gorsh and Ray 99 you really are my superstars. And if you want to join the Patreon family, my starlings, the link is down in the description below, and it's also above my head. And never, ever, ever, ever forget, <gasps> I love you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.